And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Dude, we are so going to Motley Crue at City Field. We're so going. Hair Metal Day? We're bringing Black Lou. Black Lou, you think you're not going to Motley Crue, Def Leppard, Joan Jett, <laughs> what's the other one? Poison. How did I forget Poison? You're going, Lou. It's going to be, it's like a white people zoo for you. There's going to be so many faded titty tattoos. Oh, bad tattoo removal jobs. One guy's name crossed out, another guy's name in there, but they're the same name. Just garbage. White garbage. <laughs> It's going to be so fun. Man, Quiet Riot gets me juice still. Tricks with more tattoos than they have teeth. Yes. Hot. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. I'm Big J Okerson. How epic. What serendipitous timing. Is that the right word? Yeah. Dan Soder, you know what time of year it is. Dan's doing billions, man. He's got to get out there and film the scenes. He's a much bigger part this year. Um... I believe he is becoming the commander of the uh, space army that is being formed. The Death Star? And uh, No, no, you're thinking of Star Wars. This oh. is Billions, dude. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. And then uh, I think he goes to some kind of weird frog people planet. Uh, he wasn't giving me a lot, but he told me a little bit. I think oh. Donnie Wahlberg's making a guest appearance. That's it. It's all the information I have. It's going to be exciting. Billions, everybody. Frog people in space. Dan's a star commander. Miffy, star commander Miffy. And uh, but the rest you got to fill in the blank. You have to wait. Oh, she got freckles. Ooh. Sitting in today with me. How much do you love this guy? Just such a great energy. That face. That body. The Beastmaster. Justin Silver. Oh, crackle, crackle, <laughs> campers. How are you? Just on. We also Jason. have. Uh, we also have coming in later in the show. Not long, actually. Uh, Shane the Claus himself, Shane Gillis, is going to be uh, hanging out with us for the show. Drinky Santa? Drinky Santa. <laughs> Man, I got to tell you, if you weren't in New York last night at the Bonfire Holiday, I like we never have a real full name for it, Holiday Spectacular Extravaganza. <laughs> Extravaganza <laughs> Spectacular. You missed, what a show. It is coming out on, what is it, two Thursdays from now? Next Thursday. A week from tomorrow. Yeah. Correct. Yes. A week from tomorrow, uh, it'll be coming out. What a show. It's Justin, fun. we were there. It was... Damn, that was a fun show. Yeah. So many fun surprises. I mean, Kat's going to be out of the bag now that, uh, of course, we had the live performance from Tim Capella, yeah. which was just... I mean, from sound check, I heard, Black Lou fawning over a white guy thumping his hips. That's rare. Was he now? Go Black Lou. Get into the microphone. He was killing that shit. Yeah, dude. We that all guy. were working hard to get the show ready. Could and Tim we had to stop? It was beautiful. You had to watch it. Oh, yeah, it was beautiful. Could Tim Capella, sixty-four years old, in shape as you can be at sixty-four? Does Tim Capella get pussy if he wanted to last night? Yes. The way he was thrusting, hell mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, with no problem. Even a, even a, a girl might even a girl might kind of go like, I get it's kind of funny to do this, but like I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. Yeah, it was sexy. Yeah? Yeah, he had that leather fucking chastity belt thing on. Over the jeans? Yeah. Those jeans are so tight I could see his fucking ass leg hairs. Damn. Christine, could he have gotten you under the right circumstance? 64-year-old Capella? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. 64 years old. Yeah, I mean, now? Mm Mm-hmm. Or drinking? No, all right. I feel like I can't sleep with anybody that's drinking. That's me. Yeah, true that. Hmm. I, uh, she means me too. I, uh, <laughs> that's what I was putting together. I fuck much oh, better when she's drinking. Me? Oh, now you want to fuck me? It's, man, it's becoming America's favorite. It's becoming America's favorite drug. Uh, <laughs> Is that a goat? <laughs> it's Christine. <laughs> I thought it was a goat to sound like Christine. You want to hear Christine and Fran Drescher battle? Who's yeah. got it all, dude? He's all over it. Um, <laughs> that's Fran Drescher. <laughs> Fran Drescher. <laughs> <laughs> DeRosa, a little DeRosa in there. DeRosa is my favorite. Um, DJ Lou was impressive last night. Quick, He's all dude. over it, all over it. Tim Capel could have got you. Tess, our friend Tess is here, uh, hanging out. Also, Tess, you were there last night. Sixty-four-year-old Tim Capello. Is there a, ch- a shot he could get it? I mean, I, I don't think I, I would 
Hang on. Hang on. Wait for getting your microphone. It's my fault for running my dumb yap. Go. I don't think I would give it to him, but I did enjoy it, and he is sexy. 64. 64. Is that the reason you couldn't? No. I mean, it's like the ponytail and the s- greased up shoulders. It was a bit much. <laughs> you're you're mentioning all it. my favorite parts here. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I, thought it was cute. I think those are the parts that Christine would have fucked him for. <laughs> A greasy guy with a ponytail? I was about to sell you on it, but he had a ponytail and he was all greased up. What's the problem? <laughs> that was the thing. You go, it, normally you love a greased up guy with a ponytail, but him particularly, no. Um, what about when he was younger? Oh, when he was younger, she would have been all over. It would, no, uh, she doesn't even have to answer the question. Oh, yeah, no question. Do you remember what he looked like when he was younger? Yeah, wasn't he in that Holy movie? shit. I mean, yeah. dude. God damn, dude. Monster. Those hips? Wait. Can, we, can you scroll down that go the other way, Christine, on those pictures? When he's naked? No, to the uh, on the on all the little thumbnails. Mm-hmm. Go go so you go further to the top. There was this picture where keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't know to the left with the fire. Look at his. The guy's a f- yeah, dude. That's Jesus. fucking. That's Lost Boys, dude. Wow. He looks like the Beastmaster, like the legit that. one. Yeah, we'd all give it to him there. F- <laughs> Tess, no. I mean, then yeah. Yeah. For sure. Get some Tarzan yeah, yeah, pony, pick with this guy. Ponytail don't matter so much back then, do it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you're 64 with the ponytail. And it the is odd. God, the way we'll say, guys keeping his hair together, though. It's all there. He's like a dragon. I want to ride him. The guy was, I, I was go. watching this video of him and Tina Turner thrusting and humping each other. Each other? Yeah, like one of them had the, uh, I think he had his hand on her ass. Pretty, well, Christ almighty, can we find that? Pretty sexy. 64, man. Wow. wow. 64 years old. Yeah. Getting ready to do a tour. Of the South, which means he's just uh, doing a Jewish move of moving down to Florida. That's what he said, right? He's moving to Florida. Tampa. Tampa. Which is a per- but, I mean, a great place for a 64-year-old muscly guy. A guy like that over tan? Oh, my oh, God, yeah. dude. He can go. In, he'll get treated. Like, uh, if he just tells people he's an ex-wrestler, they'll believe him. And there'll yeah. be royalty down there. Yeah. Tampa loves wrestling. Yeah. It's where all the wrestlers go to live. They are trash down there. Sorry, Tampa. We will be in your city soon. I, uh, I am, in fact, coming back to Tampa. It is on the books. It'll be part of my 2020 tour. I had a panic I'm attack. On, that I shouldn't give the name for, right, Christine? Christine, do I not give the name for my 2020 tour? You can't. There's no rule. Yeah, there's no rule. We just need to get art done. We have to get some art and dates done. <laughs> but I'm going on the uh, Big J Okerson, You Gotta Want It 2020 tour. That's a great, great title. You Gotta, you gotta want, want It? Yeah. I dig it. I had a panic attack when we were in Tampa. Really? I had a panic attack in Tampa What do you mean? Once. You caused the panic attack. Mm, but we, I went there by myself one time and had a real rough go. That Ebor City during the day, when you're just sitting around, is just like an odd... The chickens? Sad place. Yeah, there's just chickens It was a, It was those fucking edibles in the documentary we watched, and then having to walk across the street seemed like... I was like, this sounds like the never-ending story. I couldn't do this journey across the street to my hotel. Although I do believe that is where we uh, embarked on the documentary... That's what I'm saying. The white, the white supremacy one. Can I give a little background? Mm-hmm. I don't eat edibles, and then someone gave us like a cookie, and you were like, "Hey, you don't eat edibles. Eat this whole cookie." And then Is we watched. I, I mean, I eat a lot of it, and then we watched the uh, white supremacist documentary, which got in my head a little bit. Why? You think about joining? Nice. You guys made some great points. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. You guys make great points. You control the media. I was like, we do. I started getting guilt, and then I the idea of like walking across the street with all those chickens out there. I just freak. I kind of freaked out. Dude, it's the worst thing with, with any racism thing when they say something that hits home. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've always I watched uh, recently the scene again from uh, American History X when he's arguing with Elliot Gould. Oh, it's great. Do you remember? I'm going to let some kike fuck my mother. <laughs> yeah. You see this? This means not welcome. Dude, he's badass. Funny. I'm like, I want to be his friend. Fuck. I know. <laughs> Too bad Justin Silver is not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Invite him over to pour him. Uh, <laughs> hey, Yona. It's me, Yona. You want to hang out? <laughs> um, no, but that goddamn argument at the table great. about Rodney King, you're like, I don't, like, I don't fully disagree with what he's saying. Mm, None he- of the racist stuff of it. The pure... He attacked police officers. He was, It's not that he was fucking hammered, zipping down the road. like You know what I mean? Like, And you see a video of these guys beating the shit him. They went too far, no matter what the case. I'm just saying, like, for all the outcry, like, Rodney King, what a sad, tragic story. I'm like, nah, I think this guy was a piece of shit. I think he's, like, still... He died, mm-hmm. right? But he was, like, a piece of shit till he died. Like, never a good... He was always, like, a criminal of some sort, and just, like... 
like was he was like a scammer guy. Yeah, he was like people hated him uh, in his life. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, look that up, Black Loop. For us. <laughs> they, they go, he actually uh, he donated all of his money to. He lived low means because he built uh, hospitals in in Ghana. In Ghana. <laughs> he was responsible for eleven dog sanctuaries. He was a fantastic guy. But it said when he asked that question in the movie, he says if Rodney King had killed a kid, yeah, like, what if he was speaking like that? Like, would you feel like quite as bad for him? And it's like, but he didn't kill a kid. So the argument there, but it's like, sure, Fuck. thank God. But it's it's a it's a it's a solid. It's a great topic. It's a great topic of argument. You keep going and make it a swastika tattoo with the word Dar- <laughs> Darius <laughs> tattooed in the middle. It's just about what I'm saying. <laughs> Take race out of it. Uh, yes, Lou? You like reality TV just like me. You do You do remember seeing him on the uh, Silver House? That's how I knew he was a trash man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He was still drunk and messed up then. Yep. Yeah. He was all kinds of fucked up. So, Lou, you're saying he deserved it? Is that what you're saying? No. I mean, come on. Rodney King, though, it is funny, though, for that to be the re- reason he gets famous enough that one day he's sitting in a sober house with the guitar player from Alice in Chains and Tom Sizemore. <laughs> he goes, and uh, what movies were you in? He goes, uh, pretty sick viral video from uh, 19. I went viral on YouTube. 1992, I went pretty viral. 92 or 93? It was a rough shoot, but, you know. Dude, I watched that on television. The Rodney King riots. Hard to watch. Riot. But I watched them on TV like I was watching TV. It's amazing now. Mm-hmm. Like, the like nervousness that I live with in my heart, or the anxiety, I guess you could say. If I saw that happening in L.A., in the streets of L.A., how familiar L.A. is to me. It's just a place I've been to a bunch. And just knowing how small the country is, really. Like, I'd be like... We got to take up arms. Everything's going to it's, like, it's a problem. Like, it's a, it's a, when I was a kid, I watched it. I was like, You'd be hammering your crazy. restoration hardware furniture against the windows. Uh-huh. I, I remember watching the news. <laughs> Christine, break up the crate and barrel shit. We got to get these windows three and four. I remember watching it on the news, and it was in LA, and it was close to the house, and getting scared and having my parents explain that like that wasn't going to come into our neighborhood. Honey, no blacks live this far north. <laughs> this is <West>. Redondo. <laughs> Don't worry. It's Redondo. <laughs> but it was great. It was very isolated to the neighborhood. Whatever they're doing over there, it's this is Redondo. But if I saw that now happening, it's, I'd really be like, this is Because cr- it was days. Yeah. The LA riots were days. Mm-hmm. Like that's it was like a multiple day, like three days or something before I think it calmed down. It was April twenty sixth to 29th, ninth, nineteen ninety two. It's any excuse to loot I a know store. That's from Sublime songs. They is that what it is? Wrong. I thought you remember it from like a rap you wrote. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> one version says April twenty sixth. One version says April 29th. I think it was the three days. That's how you get your news. That's so redondo. Sublime, <laughs> sublime lyrics. That is redondo. <laughs> that's so redondo. You want to go fringe our jeans and <laughs> get some news from Sublime? Uh, uh but I would be like terrified of that happening now like, it would affect me in such more a profound way that i'd be like the world's ending like this is it's chaos it was terrifying to watch what happens in new york i mean besides 9 11 you can't like that's similar to that i can't remember like a new york thing like that i just rem- no nothing like that but i said i just found out during that hurricane sandy how much oh, the yeah. shit goes down people ain't coming together some people are there's people that are really helpful but there is just a natural order of people who are like i mean people got mm-hmm. you know i went through sandy and i had to wait in those like three hour gas lines people got shot in those lines. I, not in anything i saw people got shot in those lines that when that started happening the next day they made that rule of the alternating license plates if your last number in your license plate was odd you can go monday wednesday oh yeah whatever for gas and the odd numbers can go the other days it's, I mean, solve the problem overnight and in a situation where people were killed. For, that's how, like, little they got together. They couldn't think of that plan before people got killed in the street. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's pretty chaotic. So, like, L.A. riots? Yeah. I'd be like, no, nah, it's all going down. Like, hey, guy, whoa, 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 whoa. Instead of killing each other, I have an idea. Buddy system. I mean, also with the internet now, it's like the, what was the Occupy thing? How it spreads? How much when there's a, a Rodney King riot in L.A. now just from, like, social media and stuff, like... Start one of these motherfuckers here in Flatbush, yo. <laughs> Start tossing <laughs> chairs and shit. Oh, we ain't gonna let LA beat us. East Coast, East Coast gang violence is the best. <laughs> yeah. Justin, you grew up in New York. Yeah. 
you just did you see crazy violence? You hung out in like rave scenes and shit. Yeah, no, no, no. But when I was like a kid, this is like you remember when the trains were like they just looked terrifying, like graffiti everywhere and all. That? I remember where, like it was. Yeah, like, I would. There's no way I'd get and as like, a, like that. And as like a Beach Street it, trains. And as a small <laughs> white dude, like it was like. I would never wear Jordans because I was like, if you wear people, would, kids would just like fuck you up and take them or starter jackets. Like that was just there was like trains were fucking horrible. Well, yeah, scared. Like when scared. you were when you were a kid, kid. Yeah, yeah the Times Square was still shitty, right? Everything? Yeah, my my dad. I used to be terrified of the city, and I remember my dad because my dad lived in the city, and you know, Fourteenth Street is still kind of like a dump in a way. Like it's like because it's, one it's of the, so commercial. Like, but before that, front, yeah. it was sort of like it was the scummiest street next to like Forty Second Street. Like that was like the scummiest street. It was Astor Place. Was you could go to Astor Place. We were like fifteen. We used to go to Astor Place. You go to the back of those booths. You could buy guns. Yeah. We used to buy. We used to skip school buy like mace and like buy guns and shit like that. But um, <laughs> skip school to go buy Jewish Justin afraid of going to the city, and then started buying guns in back rooms. We're not going to do anything with them. What a flip over! You could though. buy like BB guns and shit like that, and like mace and like throwing knives, all that kind of stuff. But uh, when I was like younger, younger, my dad lived on 14th Street. And I remember it was just like it was. I I was always scared to come see him to come to the city. For the record, by the way, when you got a cannon like this, all knives are throwing knives. Yeah, baby. I'll throw a fucking machete. I don't Will give you? a shit. <laughs> <laughs> you think I won't? <laughs> Look at this cannon. <laughs> oh, man. If I had, I'd tattoo you right now if I could. <laughs> I uh, Philly not tough, though? Huh? When you were a kid? Philly? No. It was like fighting and stuff like that. There was, I don't, there wasn't much guns. You'd hear about like older kids or stuff like that or just showing the news and radio, but like not really... Like in our group, like people got like a, a lot of people, myself included, got like hit by knives before, but never anything. It was never like so and so's in the hospital. Stabbed? Yeah, but it was never like so and so's in the hospital. It's like sliced their arm, you know what I mean? Or something like that, or stabbed their. It was just like, like in a fight. Yeah. Or just got jumping. We're like, I tell you, man, if, if you're not afraid of a knife, it seems like most of those stories always went if you're not afraid of the knife, you don't get very hurt by the knife. And a lot of times they seem to be winning the fights when I was younger. If somebody pulled a knife, like, when you have a weapon like that, like it's you have to focus on it so much that you're just leaving so much else open. I get, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. But I uh, still... I got maced. That said, anywhere I go in the country on the road, come at me with a knife, motherfucker. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> what do they say? Was that the movie? You charge a knife and you, you run from a gun. You run from a gun. Oh, and uh, The Irishman? Was that the Irishman? Yeah, that's what he says. Yeah, yeah, charge a knife, run from a gun. Is that w- words to live by? You ever fight a guy with a knife? No. I got stabbed in the hand trying to protect a friend. Did you really? Yeah. It was just like a, just like a wild swipe that like cut my... Oh, it was awful. That's when you realize when you get hurt, you're like, I don't even want to be involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my world. When I would drive the strippers and escorts around, that's what was funny. When it would get serious in that room, if yeah. I couldn't keep it just light and like, hey, guys, you know... Don't rape the girls. Everything's cool. We're like, everyone's so cool here. Don't rape them. We have your credit card, man. Come on, like, don't rape them. This is yeah. redondo. And you know, like, just, don't just like jam, don't just jam fingers in them or whatever. You guys are awesome. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> I can already tell how awesome you guys are. You're not going to like just start, start sucking their tits or anything and all this shit they hate. Oh, they hate it so much. And I was just trying to be like, cool with them. But when it would get fucking weird and it was that where you're like, oh shit, I'm going to have to step up here and like, oh, you have some help, of those stories. Help dude. this situation or stop this situation from happening. You really so quickly go, it's like, I don't even fucking know these girls. Why am I here? I just wanted to see tits. That's why I'm here. Because I'm a fat idiot who wanted to see tits for free. <laughs> I'd make you read her. I'm sure you said them, though, all on this show, right? I don't there, know. There, some of those stories are fucking nightmares. Yeah. That yeah, you yeah. told me about. Well, I used to have the bad ones when I was doing the kids' parties, too, were weird. Same company. But the uh, uh-huh. the stripper gigs, yeah, that was like, at its best, it was like, okay. It was always scary. Yeah. And shit like yeah, it was very very odd. And then like, I, all I was hoping it was going to be like by the time it got to a point where one of these escorts or strippers was like, uh, like hey, I'll fuck you. It was ones you're like, I'm all right. <laughs> 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 and this is like seventy some pounds heavier than I am now, maybe. And like, you know, younger and whatever, where you just kind of do anything, and you just get like, nah, man, I know what just happened to you. There was the girl who. I went to a party, f- f- 14 guys, two at a time. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that story. kind of makes me nauseous. And then done. afterwards, she said, uh, we went to a Denny's for some goddamn reason. <laughs> 
we could have dropped her off and knock on the Denny's, but we went to Denny's because what conversations do you have after you're aware of what just happened there? And her reaction to the whole night was like telling me and my buddy, like, I got a few more rounds in me. We were like, ah, we got to get home, man. Like, I watched, I watched you not shower <laughs> after that. <laughs> like, who, uh, who takes that offer? Damn, I want a phone call from somebody who takes that offer. Who takes the uh, call? Please call them call 844 Comedy 9. <laughs> if you take the offer, do you want to be number 15 in this cum bucket that is my vag? Do you think a love like that could be real? No, I didn't think so either, Jacob. I didn't think so either. <laughs> Jacob, Those ass you, cheeks. I was saying this, uh, I said this to Lewis on, on Skanks the other day too. My age has changed my level of like what I'm willing to do. When Debauchery? Yeah, yeah, debauchery and like, not debauchery even. I'm still pretty debaucherous, I think, but the effort towards the in any way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Of course I do. If it was like, if there was a girl that was like, uh, you know, wants to fuck, she goes, hey, I want to fuck you and Justin. I might, and I, I think both of us feel this way. I'd much rather at that point be like, ah, no, you guys go have fun, man. 499 like, comedy if you want to fuck me and Jay. <laughs> 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 ah, Justin, you go. Ahead. No, but you know, I'm, I'm not saying there's not, other circumstances but before I like I don't know I would have fucked a girl with a buddy but not even thinking about it when I was younger in a heartbeat yeah and I think now I think more about also I think maybe my daughter getting older it puts me in positions where I go why is this girl fucking me and my buddy <laughs> like how much are we yeah. fucking her up really you know what I mean like mm -hmm. not that we're doing the problem but like we're definitely contributing but if it were an up. age thing and she were let's say she's 30 mm -hmm. then she's clearly an adult no you sure but it's she's like not, if she's it not she's not imprintable like, anymore if it makes sense, I'll be thinking too. It's like I worry that I'll be laughing too much. It's just like so ridiculous at this point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes. So if there's not like a real awesome like cum involved in this, it's like, I don't know. I don't really get the point anymore. Unless it was going for pure funny. But I said that would make me feel bad. I got it. If we fuck somebody to laugh at them now. You grew a conscience, Jay. Is that what it is? Yeah. My Jiminy Cricket came into life? Mm -hmm. Did I water him? Mm-hmm. Is it Jacob? <laughs> is that why Jacob's <laughs> gone when I'm saying this? Does he go inside of me? This is when Jacob crawls in my butt and makes me say the right things. I just respect women is all. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's take our first break, everybody. We got Shane Gillis coming pretty soon. Is he here? Oh, he's already here. Okay, we'll come back from the break with him then. With Shane Gillis. We're hanging out with the Beastmaster all day. Justin Silver's here. Oh, make sure you listen to Justin Silver on No Disrespect Podcast. That's on the Gas Digital Network. And you can follow him on all social media at I am Justin Silver. I am Justin Silver. Uh, don't forget also, Skankfest South badges are on sale now at skankfest.net. Why not skankfest.com? Ask Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> that website. <laughs> huh? We were never going to get the dot com. <laughs> I know. I know. I know you weren't. I know you weren't. Uh -huh. <laughs> Justin, I know they weren't. Uh -huh. No, it wouldn't make sense to have skankfest.com. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> we're a network. Uh, Dan Soder special, you also know. Son of a Gary, available on HBO so Go, good. HBO Now. Amazing. Um, Co-starring me. I'm the only other person in it. <laughs> saying, saying his name in the beginning. Of course, Dan's tour... In 2020, dates coming up in Boston, San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Denver, Washington, D.C. For tickets and all their tour dates, go to dansoder.com. I'm going to be at the Comedy Connection in Rhode Island, December 19th through the 21st. Big news. First time in my career. They called me a week out and said uh, that we're going to sell out wow. on these shows. Do you want to add an, uh, another show? So now instead of one Thursday, one Friday, two Saturday, we're adding a show, Friday Late Show. So That room's amazing. So I love it. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, December 19th through the 21st. Five shows. Friday Late Show just added. Uh, get tickets for that. San Jose Improv the weekend before we're doing Skanks in L.A. The weekend before I'll be at the San Jose Improv. First time ever, December 27th through the 29th. Get tickets at BigJComedy.com. Uh, Shane Gills is coming in to plug Good Nights in Raleigh. Awesome club. Awesome. It's the Helium family now. Uh, Good Nights in Raleigh, North Carolina, December 19th through the 21st. Magoobies in Baltimore, December 26th through the 28th. Get tickets for that and all his shows at ShaneGillis.com. We'll be right back. This is a bonfire. <laughs> Deftones Day, dude. Everyone here loves it so much. It's not just me. <laughs> it's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Big J. Okerson, Dan Soderoff doing billions today. Sitting in for him, of course, 
We have the Beastmaster Justin Silver. His podcast, No Disrespect, on Gas Digital Network. And also follow him on social media at I am Justin Silver, of course. Joining us also, fan fave. He's going to be at Good Nights in Raleigh, North Carolina, December 19th through the 21st. Magoobies in Baltimore, December 26th through the 28th. Get tickets uh, at ShaneGillis.com. It is Shane Gillis. Yes. <laughs> yes, dude. I always got to forget to read the website first because it, it comes off like college. You performed at a college before? Yes. The college intro, they always say. All right, your comedian, Jay Okerson's coming up now. He was on Comedy Central, and he, uh, after and also after this, there's going to be a, a board meeting here, so everyone's got to <laughs> move out uh, quick, and we're showing a movie in the auditorium. Jay Okerson. So, so yeah, <laughs> Jay Okerson. And they look at me almost like, are you coming, dickhead? <laughs> like, it was that bad, so I gave you. I said your name and your website before your Also, name. Worcester, Mass, this Friday and Saturday. Get fucking horny. <laughs> <laughs> if you live in Worcester, Mass, come hang out at Woo Ha Ha Comedy. Dude, it's going to be towny. Get blacked out drunk. Yeah, it's going to be towny, dude. It's going to be great. That's going to be a fun crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there once before. It was fun. You're going to do that thing where you like where you like go above and like lock elbows with like chicks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like after you pound the shot and then like wank on. Worcester, yeah. Worcester Mass might be the one town that I definitely belong in. Oh, you dominate. That's the one town I should. Yeah. Like, I look like everyone there. I look like the women there. <laughs> yeah. Everybody there looks exactly like me. You can work at every store. Yeah. The general store. The that's fucking, that's the all fucking, I have. It's the like fucking, the old west. Dude. The fucking <laughs> carburetor store. <laughs> <laughs> you and Jacob shared mm. such intimate space yesterday. It was, it was, Real. it was my favorite part of the of the holiday show was Jacob uh, revealing and coming out to mm. you to the sweet tender song "Oh Holy Night" playing while he walked in his pajama jams uh, across the entire club. To come sit on your lap, which, disclosure, you knew was happening. I knew it was happening. And, and yeah, it hit you different than you thought. It, that was one, like, we talked about it, and I was like, all right, this will be funny. I'll do the usual. I'll be like, yo, Jacob, I'll fucking stuff you, dude. I'll fill you up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But as soon as it, it got real, he and I saw a grown man in a onesie. Call, like talking to me like hey, Shanty is that you I was like bro this is, the bit has gone too far and then he was sitting on my lap he was getting real comfortable got real he was like Shanty snuggling calls. in there oh my god and I'd, like, really I was trying you? to look away I was trying to look away yeah he'd say something I'd look and see his face in there and it was very off putting in character yeah I looked at you yeah you're just doing it now, there. still. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> oh, he could sink right back in. This guy's like De Niro. Good lord. Daniel Day Lewis. I was in character, man. Daniel Gay Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> there will be come. <laughs> you were you, you were so you were definitely over My that. My left in, nut. In, you were you were over that in, in, in thirty five seconds. When I you, was over that when I saw him walking to you, the stage. I was just like, saw this is gonna him. be rough. Dude. Yeah, man, seeing a grown, like, an older man in a onesie, <laughs> He's not pretending an older to man. be a little boy. You just hurt his feelings so much. How, He's not yeah. an older How man. old are you? Forget it. <laughs> How old are you? I don't even care now. How old are you? You couldn't go along with the bit, huh? <laughs> How old are you? Well, Jacob, he's not the real Santa. Is that what you're figuring out right now? <laughs> yeah. Look, I did what I was asked to. I mean, it wasn't No, <laughs> you're right. You're right. You did and exactly said, what you were supposed to do. Go as perverted as you need to. Also, a girl, a girl got up. Couldn't a girl, go. a girl from the audience got up to ask Shane for uh, Christmas. But he said, "You know, tell us people what you want for Christmas. Tell Shane we want for yeah. Christmas." And they lined up, and the first girl, smoking hot chick. Uh, by the time it got to her list of things, it was like real shit. Yeah, she asked for real gifts. <laughs> she asked for like material <laughs> objects specifically. <laughs> like what? Not even like she didn't even ask for like ideas, like you know, peace. And yeah. happiness for everybody here. Whatever. It's like it, she asked for tangible. She's like, uh, fucking shoes from whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want great. this Fendi bag. And if- what was the place called? I don't remember. Oh come on! Someone's got to remember this. The name of the place. It was a real place. No, 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 not Lavo. No, the place she wanted something from. Because I want to look at this place online and see what it was. God damn it! Uh, Sal, though, if you, if you uh, or uh, or Fran, Fran. Yeah, knows. she asked me for some type of. I thought it was a bag. I don't know. As soon as she gave me like a real request, but I want to see I what like, it is. I want to see what a chick that hot comes up and and is 
we're willing to put out to the world like I deserve this for what you know what yeah, I mean like to me <laughs> before asking it's like fucking... she didn't come in and goes I wish the wildfires in Los Angeles would stop <laughs> Shane's like you know I wanted to get you that bag but how about this extra large Notre Dame hoodie <laughs> we just settle for that I was, uh, don't worry about that bleach stain it's part of the character yeah, yeah, that each one's authentic <laughs> no that's True. the game worn <laughs> that's the thing I didn't see anything that was going on I could only hear it because I was uh, in the kitchen hallway it was just me quietly standing there in a onesie with a greased up Tim Capella next to me. Yeah, please. you and me both it. had very interesting Tim Capella experiences. <laughs> Dude, please tell Dude, Shane I, yours. This I walked was great. back there. I walked back there to get into the Santa Claus outfit, and Tim was just sitting there. He looked like a bouncer. He was wearing like an all black outfit. And he was just listening to something on YouTube <laughs> on his phone. He was holding his phone up to his the ear. The Rocky theme? And I walked back. I was Probably. like, hey, can you, uh, can you watch the door? I'm going to get changed. And he kept playing his fucking music into his ear. He didn't put his phone down to listen to what I was saying. Yeah, no. everybody stays in he character except listening. for you, Shane. He kept listening to it. And I was like, can you fucking hear me? <laughs> like, I'm making eye contact. And then he, then he was like, yeah, I'll watch the door for you, but I got to get changed too. And I was like, that's... Well, that- that's odd for somebody who works here. <laughs> so I was back there dressing up like Santa, and he comes back and tosses on like a leather thong or some, yeah. some weird outfit and starts lubing himself up. And I was like, whoa, dude. <laughs> this, is a, this is different than what I'm used to. I like you thought he was a worker. <laughs> yeah, I, hey, chief. Hey, chief. Keep an eye on the curtain for me, huh? You tell me he doesn't look like a bouncer? <laughs> sure. That guy 100% looks like a bouncer. In like a roadhouse bouncer. type of place. Yeah. yeah, 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 where it's more his skill and knowledge of fun. He's Wade Garrett. He's not Dalton from Roadhouse. He's yeah. Sam Elliott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not so much that he's a good fighter anymore, but he just knows, he has the know-how. He's a boot knife guy. He knows you run towards, you run towards <laughs> a knife. <laughs> you run from a gun. But yeah, the uh, Jacob, Jacob settling in right there on my, yeah. my lap was... His butt flap? Genuinely off-putting. Mm. Yeah, you didn't like it. It wasn't your no. thing. Guess what? I you, thought I'd be able to handle it. You passed the test, you're not gay. True. <laughs> True. Dude, cool. You Maybe I didn't gay. like that I was getting turned on. Yeah, you passed my gay. Why'd you get so emotional about it? Maybe I didn't like you how failed my gay test. it was, dude. <laughs> no, man, I'm not gay, okay? This is just what guys do. It's just the thing. <laughs> it's what guys do. Was there any answer on Mm-mm. what the place was? It was like, it was like no. yo-yo. And, uh, oh man, when you guys were like, "Hey, does anybody in the audience want to come sit on Santa's lap?" She stood up right away. I was like, hmm. "Whoo, yeah. fuck and then, yes!" And then, and we, then she got up to the stage and was like, "I don't have to actually sit on his lap, do I?" I was like, "Is that fuck? what she said?" <laughs> yeah. Oh, wah, I was like, "God damn it!" <laughs> that is, by the That's way, a what a hilarious wording that hurts so much. She go, if she would have said even, "Do I got to sit on his lap?" Almost like she's saying, "Is that the instruction of the yeah bit?" It wouldn't hurt as much. She goes. When you ask, I don't have to, do I? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to. She goes, well, and then somebody goes, yeah, you sort of have to. <laughs> We're like, nah, get off the stage. That's weird. Did they, uh, I heard they changed the CNN thing. They put it by, they changed the picture, Christine said. Oh, did they? I haven't checked. On the article, they changed the whole thing up because someone had to eventually get back and say it's ridiculous. Good. For CNN's post. What is it like? The, the, CNN had a like an article about like people that were canceled in 2019, and the graphic they used for it was R. Kelly, me, and Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck, dude? I texted Shane. I go, what the fuck? What you did was so much worse. Than this <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. These guys are just trying to get their fucking nuts off. But today, I just got a uh, somebody sent me an article from Jezebel that was of uh, me and Chappelle. So you know, equally fucking outrageous <laughs> as, as far as people I shouldn't be next to. <laughs> Dude, I mean, it makes more sense. At least it's like in the world of comedy. Yeah. And no one here uh, destroyed anybody's life or anything Dude. at all. So it's like, it makes much more sense. But I mean, R. Kelly and Michael... First of all, the article is about canceling, right? People who got yeah. canceled. Here's the thing about people who got canceled this year. Like, Michael Jackson, he's dead. <laughs> he didn't get canceled. He yeah, R. Kelly's ago. a monster. He died years ago. It's like, all right, CNN, so an off-color joke's the same to you as kid-touching? Yes, Christine. <laughs> Kid touching, and I guess uh, child, like kidnapping and holding them in a house. In Kels, a weird... I think I was the only one on there that was actually finish. guilty of the crime, though. <laughs> <laughs> MJ, definitely innocent. You're not going to lay that on him. Kels, <laughs> Look at that. also innocent. So crazy. Wild. Look yeah, at you. Really wild, but they did change the image. You're the only black person in the list of there not carrying an umbrella to keep sun off of them. <laughs> 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 
when you reach that level, Black Lou, you ever start carrying a sun umbrella? It's not. We know something's wrong with you. That's you can tell a black man's going through it. We start carrying a sun umbrella. <laughs> black man carries a sun umbrella. He's got something. Something dirty's going on. True. Yeah. You and Mister Bentley. He, he killed his sister in law or something. Something crazy happened. Um, but that's such CNN again. Such irresponsible fucking. Like what's the what's the call of that? Like there's yeah. some. Oh, by the way, if you're just going with the theme. It's maybe throw Harvey, 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 in Harvey there. Weinstein. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe not. Maybe not Shane Killis for his jokes. <laughs> um, yeah, I was. That was the Lou Pearlman's. I, I gotta, thought someone photoshopped it when I, they first sent it to me. <clears throat> I thought you did when I, you posted it, and then I had to actually look. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I thought you were just trying to be funny. No. And then I actually, I was like, are they fucking kidding me? No, I was honestly pretty excited about it though. Oh, so I was like, this is sick. <laughs> Were you not upset at all? R. Kelly and Michael Jackson, dude? <laughs> Fuck yes. Yo, speaking like, of I'm Shane... I'm a star. <laughs> I'm a fucking star. <laughs> speaking of Shane and other pedophiles, uh, I started watching. <laughs> Falcone uh, turned me uh, on last night to a documentary on YouTube that I started for about a half hour of an hour and a half of it. Yeah. That I was enjoying in. the Lou Pearlman story. The guy who did all the boy bands. Got all the boy oh, bands together yeah, yeah, and stuff. yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh... You know, he managed like. Was he hooking up with those boys? Yeah, we're not there yet, but there's a lot. There's a lot of tears in the trailer. <laughs> that usually yeah. isn't just money probs. <laughs> well, I mean, look, I don't know anything about this, so maybe this guy didn't do anything wrong. But if you're going to be a pedophile that's into boys, <laughs> those are the ones. That's the guy. Oh my that's god, the, that's that's you know. Oh, those sweet. I was going to call him the Michael Jackson of pedophiles, but oh, dude, he's awesome. <laughs> I guess that's Michael if Lou Jackson. Perlman was fucking all those kids, and he was in the kids like that, like like those young men like that. I mean, without a doubt, how much better could you do in the world? Like, you get the 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 sexiest ones, and you get to dress them in little outfits all together, mm. and then make fuck them, them dance together, make them dance, yes. with, dance routines. <laughs> God damn, I might get into boys just to do this. He just yeah. sits, I figure he just sits in a big. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He sits in a big king size bed, just eating like stuff that's getting crumbs on his chest. He's like, do the routine one more time, boys. I'll tell you who's not sleeping right now: Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Who did he get? Who was his band? Do you remember? Back well, first of all, they all st- where I'm at now is they're all starting to hate him because he would just create his own competition to make money off everybody. Like in his fucking living room? No, no. I mean, like he would. <laughs> like he's the Backstreet Boys. Like he managed them and put them all together. And then when they got to the point where they were like coasting, yeah, he made in sync. Which Wait, he also made NSYNC? Yeah. Is there, there might be a... a Damn. A, it's, called, it's called the Boy Band Con. Look at the trailer for it. NSYNC kind of buried Backstreet Boys. Right, and I don't even remember... Do you know there was, like, fucking boy beefs? I didn't yeah. remember that. Oh, I remember yeah. the beefs. They I were was like, thick into the beefs. Were you? Into the boy beefs? I was, I was loyal to the Backstreet Boys as a young <laughs> man. I was bummed. Did they have, like, dance-offs? I was bummed when NSYNC came in. I didn't like those, they new, dominated. those new kids on the block. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's why I'm on the article. <laughs> Stuff like that. Though. It's humor like that that really <laughs> should be in there. <laughs> yeah, I should, dude. I deserve it. It's a trailer. Play this trailer. MJ. Bye, bye. Don't ever forget this is show business. AJ oh, McLean. Man, those hats need to just be outlawed. Yeah. He's I'm wearing that those. fucking Burt Kreischer hat. No, he's so unfuckable <laughs> now, right, Shane? I, uh, <laughs> one of them I really did actually have feelings for. Which one? I forget. I forget Nick. his name. He was in Backstreet Boys. Was it the one with the long neck? Kevin. Maybe Kevin, dude. Let me see what <laughs> Kevin looks like. Yeah, it was Kevin, dude. Shane You're a Kevin guy. Boy. I'm Shane. a big Kev guy. Yeah, smoky I'm eyes. Kev head, dude. The Backstreet Boys, the Wahlberg I always thought, the one that looks like a Wahlberg I always thought was the handsomest. Oh, dude, give me some Kev. Yeah, it's right Kev. Here, right? guy. <laughs> I always, for some reason, like the little uh, the little white kid on the side, the little Wahlberg looking one. Nick? No, Which no, one? no, 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 back to, you're, now you're at the wrong, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That's that like the right, right time. Yeah. That the Backstreet one, the, the one in the middle, yeah, him. His haircut. He looks like a Wahlberg. Oh, she got freckles. <laughs> <laughs> that haircut never really went out of style for white trash, though. Was the Caesar? That Caesar is. You have it right now. Oh, really? Yeah, I was wearing a nice <laughs> snow hat. <laughs> I look like a dumb dickhead. Yeah, the bowl cut went away, though. The bowl cut went away quick. I rocked bowl for quite a while. Did Flop you? over the side. <laughs> Not the bowl, but you know the the hair flopping over the, the Nick Carter. <laughs> but yeah, play the documentary uh, thing, the trailer. Well, the boy band craze to me was this amazing time in history that changed everything. We start selling out stadiums, start selling out arenas. 
and you see a girl pass out in front of you and you're supposed to just keep performing. People were selling a million records a week like nobody had ever seen sales. I'll tell you what's even funny. I bet when NSYNC were doing a concert and a young black girl like, like passed out in front of them, even they'd have to look at each other and be like, really? <laughs> like, what house are they growing up in where their brothers letting them listen to this shit? <laughs> like this before and what a lot of people don't understand the man responsible for Aaron this Carter. is Lou Perlman oh, I mean he looks boy. like he fucking it's always the same looking look, Jew I know. Looks like he has it's a the hole. same fucking looking Jew it, it look, pisses me off it looks like he has a hole in the inside pocket of his khaki so he can play with his dick and he's just <laughs> holding his hand during the video shoots <laughs> boys good job boys <laughs> Checking for my keys. Good job, boys. <laughs> Trying to see it. I think I got a neutral grain ball down here. Oh, boys. Hang on. You know my blood sugar's getting low. <laughs> behind Backstreet Boys. And wow. Lou was head of our family. We would have dinners. We would tell Lou the Jew. Lou uses a bib to eat, by the way. That's the type of fat guy we're talking about That's not here. for food. It's that's got, royalty. It's got to be going to, to fucking towards the end of this documentary because it's all... He never gave him money. He would just go, like, we're all going to Peter Luger's. And he would just take a bunch of young, <laughs> handsome boys to Peter Luger's and pay for it all. And then, like, it's coming, dude. It's yeah. coming for sure. I is the guy pioneering music on the radio. Things were going great for us. This was going to be our first check presentation. A lot of money now. This is going to be nuts. I open up the envelope. I see the check. And, oh, my gosh. Like, my heart sunk. I, I couldn't believe the number I was looking at. Ten grand, if you want to know. <laughs> really? That's how much you paid him? Mm -hmm. He looks like he's made out of pork. <laughs> he said they came back from like a nation like a, or a, a fucking worldwide tour where they were excited to get $35 per diem a day because everything was paid for besides that. And they figured at the end of the tour there was going to be something. Ten grand. Crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. I had all this complete trust in. Suddenly, the carpet just got ripped out from underneath us. You sell almost 10 million albums. I could have made this much working full-time at Starbucks. Something isn't adding up. Lou's getting paid. Promoters are getting paid. The deeper they dug, the worse it got. Never in a million years. By the way, lost. I will say, though, this said, I always have to take, take counterpoint into some view here. Both the people most heav heavily showed in this, complaining about them, are the two, the NSYNC guy and the Backstreet Boy guy who went a little rogue. You know what I mean? Like the one who was... Ah, uh, they were at a By pocket. the way, the, the one that I... The guy from each band who, if someone goes, what, isn't that band gay? And I'd be like, yeah. I mean, AJ McLean's cool, I guess, if I had to hang with one of them. <laughs> if I had to hang with one of them. And what was the other one? And Chris Kirkpatrick, I guess, has pretty dope hair. True. Whatever, it's fine. The guy's got blue braids. It's cool to even try that, I guess. It's bold. <laughs> If I had to hang with one, I guess. So I wait, care. Perlman, w not only was he getting paid, he was also having hot young boys dance for him. <sighs> and mean, we're going to we're gonna pretend this guy's a monster instead <laughs> of just somebody who needs to be celebrated for following his dreams. <laughs> Imagine if you're a pedophile that also wants to get paid. <laughs> Everyone told me, they said, Lou, <laughs> no chance. There's no money Are you going to be able to boys? eat in the nude in a mansion while hot young boys by the band come trolling through that door and do silly dances for you. Do your little dance and feed me locks. <laughs> he did it. He dared to dream. Yeah, Lance Bass, meet me in the sukkah. <laughs> meet me in the sukkah. I'm taking a schwitz. Come in naked. Five minutes. <laughs> Look. Your boys now, you go, you get, you whack the schmeckles around. The girls get all hot in the hotchy in the pants. It's Pesach. Do it quick. I want you out by four. Would you buy, boys? It's Friday. Would you mind dialing a phone number for me? I can't use the phone. You see. <laughs> would you boys mind giving me some hand release? Normally, I would use a flashlight, but you know, it's the Sabbath. <laughs> about you right now then you find out how many other people this thing that he did affected he went to the FBI right, I don't think he was fucking these kids I think he was just ripping them off nah I mean you can't be surrounded by such hot boy pussy and not want to go come on though. dude at some point you're gonna fucking hang it out you're gonna hang it out and see what fucking happens you have to yeah Oh, you boys came. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you that I steam nude. <laughs> you, ever, you think every once in a while he would like do a move? Like, yeah. You can see them doing the moves be by himself. Like. Yeah. <laughs> For Dawn, you were I remember when you did the... Eh, eh, <laughs> bip, you did the thing with the ropes. I was good to use. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, so this whole documentary is just like a Jew ripped us off. <laughs> uh, it's oh, going man, obvious, man. the Luke Lu- Lu- <laughs> yeah, Roman yeah. story. <laughs> wow, what a shock. <laughs> Come on, boys, everybody in my bed, let's watch the Ten Commandments <laughs> naked. <laughs> Newsflash, hot Jew rips off. <laughs> yeah. I think the twist is going to be that he didn't fuck the kids. <laughs> it might be. If you yeah. didn't, I'm not watching. Webs upon webs of oh, robbery. Come. Every oh. parent is protective of their child, and I was so angry. It was all truly criminal. He would use his power and influence to try to manipulate young performers. <laughs> it's not for me to decide, man. He terrorized me. If Lou didn't feel bad, then he's a monster. Lou gave us all the ability to have life today. I wonder how we could sleep at night. Lou has all the power. A man who had everything, he stole my life. Had the world in his palm of his hand. I just wanted to kiss him. I gotta take a break for a second, guys. All right? <laughs> I'm getting horny. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron Carter, dude. People who are fighting me. You don't fuck fighting around. Dude, Aaron Carter, what was it, Lindsey Ross told me this? You might be able to find this on the break, too. Aaron Carter was on the show The Doctors before Marriage Boot Camp, actually. And they were asking him to be like, honest about his drug use or something. And they were like, Aaron, you've been uh, clean for whatever time. And apparently he goes, uh, uh, he kind of like sits on that for a minute. And he goes, now nah, you know, i got to be completely honest with you. I've been huffing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's been doing, huffing. <laughs> Yeah, I've been huffing some, some paint, some Damn. model glue and shit. It's awesome to come clean on that. Like, yeah, huff, I real know. Matter of fact, like, no, yeah. I'm going I'm to lay it on the table. I have been huffing. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to whip its head. Uh, that's fucking great. Uh, we should take our second break here. I know, Jacob. I know. I'm taking our second break, and I'm going to do these reads so straight. The next one's Bowling Branch Sheets. Where could that go bad? Yeah, that's never gone bad. Make yeah. it your own. Huh? You can make it your own. You want me to judge it up a little bit? Judge it up. I'll judge it up. I'll, throw, I'll cinch it with a belt, maybe. Um, we're hanging out with Shane Gillis and Justin Silver. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. You know Bowling Branch is known for making the incredibly soft organic cotton sheets that millions of Americans love? I was going to try to time those claps out. Three U.S. presidents involved in those hundreds of thousands of people. This holiday season, just like the classic song goes, Bowling Branch is offering their 12 deals of Christmas. With deals on their organic cotton, ethically made Bowl and Branch signature soft sheets that get softer and softer over time. Plus deals on their bedding and gifts for 12 days. It gets softer over time? Yeah, softer and softer over time. Just like me, bro. Yeah, as time goes on, you get softer. <laughs> That's just what time... I can't fight Father Time, and neither can Bowling Branch. <laughs> Softer and softer over time. They get lazier. I was talking dongage. Oh. 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 (laughs) Should we start over? Yeah. (laughs) Jacob's going to make us start over. All right. Take two. Bowling Branch is known for making dongs. I blew it. Start it over again. I blew it now. I blew it. I read it wrong. (laughs) Take three. Take that bass line for a walk. Bowling Branch is known for making the incredibly soft organic cotton sheets that millions of Americans love, including three U.S. presidents. This holiday season, just like the classic song goes, Bowling Branch is offering their 12 deals of Christmas with deals in their organic cotton, ethically made, Bowling Branch signature soft sheets that get softer and softer over time. Plus, deals on their bedding and gifts. For 12 days, check in at BowlingBranch.com to find out which of their best-selling products are on sale that day, and every day they'll add more deals. Their packing is beautiful, so no gift wrapping is required. And get a set of sheets for yourself while you're at it. If you order by December 23rd, it's guaranteed to get there in time for Christmas with shipping. That's pretty great. Right down to the wire. If you forgot somebody... You can get them some Bowling Branch sheets right down to the wire. If you order by December 23rd, guaranteed to get there in time for Christmas with free shipping. Go every day during the 12 days of Christmas at BowlingBranch.com to see the new deal each day. Spell B-O-L-L and Branch.com. BowlingBranch.com. Big scene. Space War. Damn. Today, yeah. Space War today. It's a lot of green screen stuff, but he's doing his own stunts, and I appreciate that. you got to respect that. Uh, sitting in today with me, of course, the Beastmaster, Justin Silver. 
I am Justin Silver, and I am Justin Silver on social media. Make sure you check out the No Disrespect podcast. Also sitting in with us, Shane Gillis, ShaneMGillis.com for all of his tour dates. Go Birds. Uh, he's got Woo Ha Ha's coming up this weekend in, Wor- in Worcester, Mass. I hate when clubs like that, the names are like that. You really just want to say the place. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be in Worcester. You'll figure it out yeah, when you I'm go in, to the uh, I'm at the Woo Ha Ha and then Magoobie's Joke House. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, get these names approved. In huh? between Magoobie's, you're going to be at Good Nights in Raleigh. Yes. Uh, always... Tout is one of the come best clubs. Come out to clubs. Raleigh. Always one of the, it's great. It's great. And they will. They're going to come yeah. out to it. It's, it. Load that place up, man. It's such a cool club. That's December 13th. and No, I'm sorry. That's December 19th to the 21st. 19th to the 21st. The Good Nights. Magoobies in Baltimore, the 26th to the 28th. Shane M. N. N. Gillis. Shane M. Gillis.com. That M threw me. Do you yeah. Think that's so much. It's, it wasn't necessary either. I didn't need the M. Shane Gillis.com was available. Really? <laughs> yeah. Just, you thought know. of all the Shane Gillis you want to stand out? Yeah. More difficult? Yeah. What does ShaneGillis.com go to? Now? I don't know. It goes to... Child porn. Now it might go straight to... Yeah, FreeKells.com. <laughs> Free R. Kelly. Free. <laughs> Definitely is the innocent project. <laughs> <coughs> I'll tell you also, Skankfest South badges are on sale now at skankfest.net. If you haven't seen the trailer for Skankfest South... So it, awesome, dude. It's such a great hype video. It's uh, it's fantastic. Christine, Rebecca Lewis working hard on that, so make sure you check that out. i got a bunch of dates coming. BigJComedy.com. Um, Deftones Day continues. <laughs> I had a couple things in our uh, topic sheet that we didn't get to that I wanted to... Uh, show and again this is I like things that make me feel like a curmudgeon old man I don't like the feeling but I find it so funny that just organically you become like these yeah. goddamn kids and their disrespect oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh I think uh huh and uh the, the Soul Train Awards were on the other day I peeked in <laughs> and uh and I saw I wrote it down her name it was the most the shittiest acceptance like uh, what's her face like these people win now and they're like yeah of course of course, I'm 17 years old and an icon. Why wouldn't? That, why would that not be the case, you idiot? Like this girl accepts this award. Like this is the fifth one she's had to pick up and drive to each one. <laughs> she's like, like Dirk Diggler, done. like Dirk with Diggler and the, <laughs> the fucking. Hey, thanks. I'm gonna keep rocking and roll. <laughs> <laughs> keep rocking and roll. Yeah, play this. 16 seconds. Hi, um, thank you so much. I didn't expect this. Um, thank you, LBRN, and thank you, London, on the track. Um, I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> How old is Summer Walker? I don't know. Her titties are like, 105. Because <laughs> her body is ridiculous. Big fan of Summer Walker 23. now. 23. Born in 96. Jackpot, dude. What does she do? Oh, I mean, she sings, right? Does she have face tattoos? I don't know what she sings. She doesn't talk. She does have a face tattoo. (laughs) She certainly doesn't talk. I'll tell you that. That's not her strong suit. She's like, I don't know. He told me I had to come up here and do the thing with Did you have to laugh at her funny faces? No, no, no. She was cool about that. (laughs) She didn't give me her funny faces. Yeah, you you feel like a curmudgeon. I understand. There's a Sprite. This is what she does? There was a Sprite commercial with, I think, Ray Schremert in it. Just ride it in, like, they're riding in like, like Quavo. They're riding like big wheels or something. Riding big wheels in like the mm-hmm. uh, Versailles <laughs> for Sprite. I was like, <laughs> like watching it like a hot, is like a here. Flyers game and that comes on. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell is going on here? It's one of the funniest things uh, SNL had in a bit recently. It goes, what? this has been brought to you by what? Sprite. He goes, this has been brought to you by Sprite. Uh, when did we become the black soda? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, she has face tattoos. Where? That's her hair. Also, I have a real hard time accepting sexy, whether it's heartbreak or love music, from a 23-year-old now, too. I'm like, this guy doesn't give a fuck about this chick in real life. (laughs) He's like, "Mm mm-hmm, whatever, bitch. That's why I got you pregnant. (laughs) What is this old 1984 computer room? So she's like just run of the mill, obvious R and B. Yeah, she's pretty hot though. I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, no, she's good. She reminds girl. me of the girl who sucked DMX's dick in Belly. Ooh, <laughs> remember that young, hot, sixteen-year-old? What a great arcane reference. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do remember that girl. That, that girl was it. so hot. She was so hot. But I really, I just have like a. 
Hey, you're going to respect for an award show? Dress up, you piece of yeah, shit. It's the Soul <laughs> That's Train That's what I award. do. It's the Soul Train Awards. Put your dirty pillows away. Be a lady. Don Cornelius died. <laughs> show some respect. <laughs> I'm going to go take a schwitz in the back. Let me know when the boys are coming out. <laughs> Hey, I heard there's a crop of boys. <laughs> I love Lou the Jew. You want me to take a peek? <laughs> Oofa! That's a lot of boys. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, these black boys can sing. Get them over for schmools. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of boy. <laughs> how many of them? How many of them come out of that situation gay? A bunch, right? I'm not no, talking no. about by force. I'm talking about. You got you got it knocked into you. Just Maybe, has- or it w- it's what you were going to be. But I mean, the boy band. Overlap of gay has to be more than we know. Mm. I thought Ralph Tresvant was gay. Christine told me he's married. But then I think he's married to a fat person, which means maybe he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you marry a fat person, you're gay? <laughs> if you marry a fat person, you don't have to? You think Ralph Tresvant has to marry a fat Wait, person? my mom's gay? No. No, maybe. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes, Shit. she is. Um, no, I, when, if someone... Do you know who Ralph Tresvant is? No. no. Lead singer of New Edition, dude. Oh, is he gay? It's a smooth brother. New Edition. I always good. thought he was gay, and I think we looked it up, and he's not gay. But I, a part of me also thinks he's with someone he's better than. Hmm. And it's like, oh, probably because he's gay. I bet this girl's fun to like shop with and shit. Could we see them? Yeah, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's gorgeous. Yeah, see what I mean? Nah, I can't see by that picture. Is, can we see the one where they're at that award show? There. Um, no. What she's not. ever, dude. She's got this a, guy she's can got get. a body. Look at his ex-wife. What? Go down. Wait, wait, go down. No, no. Down. Over one. Yeah. Come on. He likes a nice six. Can you get the fuck out of here? <laughs> that girl, she like uh, <laughs> like she yells, girl, you came with us, you should leave with us to fucking uh, a black woman in a movie. We came together. You ain't leaving with this dusty <laughs> motherfucker. Maybe he got her uh, pregnant. He's dusty. A, he's a good man of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It could just be like he lets... Uh, she lets him cheat. You look at like Alan Iverson's wife, Snoop Dogg's mm-hmm. wife. Is that All those think? guys are like, maybe they just nope. cheat. <laughs> All those people are gay. I'm taking the Wendy Williams approach to radio now. Everyone's gay unless you defend it to me that you're not. <laughs> um, yeah, come on. This guy? Smooth brother. Put on new edition of the Apollo, Christine. Show him. This guy doesn't need nothing. It could be raining the hottest black snatch on yeah. him. Yeah. Like... Good wax jobs, no ingrown hair shit. You know what I mean? Those black ingrown hairs become a motherfucker. They grow to other stuff. (laughs) 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 Oh, man, I want a white suit so bad. You go back to too much. You really want a white suit? Why don't you wear one for the next Bonfire Live? I can't do it. I don't think I can pull it off. Yeah, you could. No, white is not flattering. We'll get you a cane, buddy. Well, I might need a cane by next month. Who knows? The diabetes catches me. <laughs> oh, that sugar got Jay's leg. <laughs> the diabetes catches me. Um, smooth. Such smooth it's a, brothers. It's a, people that dancing like this should not get pussy. It's unreal that this works so well. Not it according works. to Lou. Yeah. I do wonder that, though. You are choosing with a guy who's like a dancer, like a boy band guy. Yeah. And I'm not saying they can't be tough, but they're... It's not what your instinct would be. If you're if you're attracted to that, you're not attracted to like the masculine qualities of a guy yeah, if yeah. you really are in the way he dances. And so you know what I mean? It's all that even if you find that sexy as shit that he dances, when you're walking down a dark street, you look at him and go, like, we should get on a lighter street. Like as a woman would go, like, we should go somewhere. Like lighter. Justin Timberlake, yeah, not, you're, not handling it's shit. Like, for it's, you. it's like you're more of a dancer than like a handle a problem guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And so I, I know what you mean, but I think that's, that's why I was always turned on by fifty cent. Dude, <laughs> like a gangster, yeah. Got I a bullet holes in his to, face. I wanted him to take me. The <laughs> cover, yo, the album cover for Get Rich or Die Trying. Oof. Like like a fat Joe lean back is the most dancing you'll go with a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm it. not much of a dancer. All right. Oh, really? Christine says predict. she's seen you dancing many times. Shame. True, I do dance. I, said, shame. <laughs> I dance a lot. I like, shame. I just like <laughs> grab a beer and get in the middle of the dance floor with the young hot chicks, and you like know all the lyrics to the new rap. <laughs> I do. Listen, I, I want, do love the new hip hops. I want you to say. I'll tell you something. I feel comfortable saying at forty-two years old, especially at this point in my life. Far more dancer than I am fighter. <laughs> I'd much rather dance mm. than fight. I'd rather a girl be attracted to my dancing. <laughs> I like your dancing more than your fighting. Booyah. I've seen you push that man through a window. She's never seen me lose. You tell me you weren't turned on by that? 
And she acts like she wasn't. When he had assaulted a homeless man in a hallway? <laughs> he was not homeless. He, he homeless was a jerk-off young kid. Well, well I don't know this Jerk-off young homeless kid. Christine cannot don't pay a compliment in the world at all. She True. was a young kid, a frail, fragile young kid who was afraid the entire time. In a Jay, wheelchair. Jay. He just happened to get up. <laughs> She's the fucking worst. No. <laughs> you the threw kid. a kid through a window? She other, yeah, yeah. Every every physical situation Christine's seen me be in, Jay beat moments, a later, moments later, she does, she trivializes everything about it. Moment, Christine, moments later. Who's hotter, Chris Collinsworth or Jay? Jay. No, Google Collinsworth. <laughs> we did. We did this recently. Oh, really? You've already done yeah. this? <laughs> <laughs> Not this bigger thing, but we Googled Collinsworth. We yeah, young, young, of him. young Collinsworth with the fucking bangles. He was no sexy, nonsense, dude. Definitely Just, you getting chill. Yeah, it's fucking three degrees. Bangles Collinsworth. Well, what that, you get memories you. of Lou Pearlman back again. You remember when you auditioned? I True. did everything for him. I did everything for him, and he Justin wouldn't let me in the band. Man, I saved his birds. <laughs> don't, don't I trained this, his dogs. Don't take this the wrong way. You, you, you do give off the vibes of a former boy band. That's cool. Yeah. 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 So I in. said don't take it the wrong way. Did not take it. I think I took right, it good. the way you intended it and yeah. happy. I think there's no way he could have taken that in the wrong way. I don't think so. I know my friend Justin. Right, yeah. Pal. I would love to be boy band hot. Oh, fuck yeah. I'd say he <laughs> is. I, that's what I was saying. Fucking and you'd be in a documentary right now talking about that guy sucked your dick and you would look fantastic. Right. You are right in line with those. You look better than A.J. McLean. Uh, right? Goddamn mm, right. I'd, I'd have say to say it again, Shane. Chris Kirkpatrick, you're killing it. You do d- destroy Kirkpatrick. Lance Bass would kiss you in the mouth in a heartbeat. Yeah. 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 Let's keep going on this. No, Bass looked on good, that. though. Bass looked good. You gotta Bass did look that. good. He did look good, but he Lance still... held up. Justin's way better built than than uh, Bass. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, just facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Justin might be better built than every boy band person now. No, I bet Timberlake held up. I'll fuck him up. Timberlake, Timberlake I bet, is, is more like he's thin. Yeah, he's cut. I dude. think he's slim. No, I'm more cut than Timberlake. I, I'm not arguing with you. Timberlake buddy, would rock buddy, you. Buddy, I'm, He would rock If you want my clothes off, just say it, Shane. I'll take them off. Timberlake would fuck you up. No Look, way. there is an outside shot that Justin Timberlake would get would up. Timberlake fuck you up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Man. Maybe Timberlake would fuck you up, Justin. I don't know. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, he's serious, dude. He was established in 1970 wow. something. Um, oh yeah, yeah, he would he'd rock cook, you. He would, he would toss you around a little bit. He'd ragdoll you. His Can we switch topics? Thick, his thick leg wife would fucking probably hold you down while he slapped great. you in the face. Who's his wife? Jessica, Jessica Biel. Biel. Ooh, yeah, she was hot. You want to hear why I wouldn't fuck her? <laughs> <laughs> her I, ears. Yeah, that's what I do. I find something. <laughs> yeah. I did the center with her. She's, she's, she's toothy. Right. She's real toothy. Too many teeth in her mouth. <laughs> Man, what type of psycho do you have to be to take pictures of people at the beach? You I know, mean, there's paparazzi that's taking pictures of celebrities <clears throat> swimming. Yeah, with zinc, Man, look on, how zinc on their fat nose. They are. <laughs> so you. Yeah, it's also what it is too. Look at the cellulite and all that kind of shit. Yeah, I was watching. I, I saw some pictures of Jack Nicholson crushing. Like a hoagie on, on a boat. <laughs> it's like, what piece of shit? You're in a, took a, d- you're in a dinghy next to his yacht? <laughs> of this old man your scope? Enjoying, a, enjoying a nice hoagie. Finally, I'm in national, international waters where I can enjoy a hoagie in peace. <laughs> Thick fucking tits on Nicholson, too. <laughs> Who, who's got better tits? Him or the Damn, dude, Nicholson summer... Has, uh, Nicholson has oh good dude, tits. Dude, he's eating right out of the bag. He's eating a Jimmy John's out of the bag. The can bag's I say got something? a picture of, ho- of hoagie on it. Can yeah. I say something? His tits are perfect. Yeah, yeah they are. Those are perfect chick tits. Well, they do. They are. They're, they're, te- they're gorgeous. Teardrops. They're nice they're teardrops. They're fucking tits. perfect. They're nice tits. By the way, that should be the picture. A- a- that should be the after picture at a plastic surgeon's office. Those are perfect. By the way, he's got hot young puss eating hoagie with him. So <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Look at his tits next to her tits. His are better. Would you like a hoagie? Uh, yeah, I don't know who that's. Who's he with? Surrounded by women eating a hoagie, comfortable oh. as shit. Why not? Why wouldn't you be? That's fucking gangster. But yeah, I yeah. using the person who takes those pictures. <laughs> Look at him with his arms up. Look at his tits with his arms nom, up. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> what a fat old pig. Who's this guy? What? <laughs> He's like, look at, look I can't him. really get look at him. sticking his head out of the water, he's smoking like, a cig. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> this guy. He's the I man. can't really get it up anymore, so I like to watch young couples do it. Wow, so weird. <clears throat> oh my god, dude! I can't. I'll never go to a beach. This is it, Christine. I'm never going to the beach. 
And you know how much I love my annual hoagie eat on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I love my fucking Redondo hoagie fest. <laughs> Man. Where I go challenge seagulls to fights over my sandwiches. <laughs> you gotta race back from the water when they get into your hoagies. No, 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 no! no. <laughs> Fucking hoagies. sagging. Everything's sagging off. It's like, no, 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 no! Son of a bitch! No! I got to the <laughs> oh, yeah, this show's flying by. We have to take another break. And in our last break, we can get these commercial, these ad reads out. Clean. Buy the book, Jacob. Mm-hmm. Jacob? <laughs> buy the book. Don't turn on me like you turned on, <laughs> on Shane. You got upset by Shane's words already. Yeah, I'm, with you. I'm with you. I'm on your team. Jacob, let's bring it back. We're going to do this. Hey. Let's bring it back. Because I said dong during an ad read. You got upset? We're about to handle the business Cheer up, of dude. show business, okay. dude. Cheer up. You didn't like me sitting on your lap at the, the show. Well, that hurt. I didn't realize how no. much that hurt him. <laughs> Sit on his lap right now. No, I mean, it's no, no more. <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even. That was, a com- that. that was a comic book fodder. I freaking read it. Yeah, suck a tash. I see it from your point. It's a bummer knowing that like uh, we don't have any sexual chemistry. Like all that talk <laughs> and all that build up, and then the holiday party. I mean, we we had, tried to hook up, and it was just say, we had zero. a plan before. <laughs> Zero sexual chemistry up there. You guys have nothing? <laughs> I don't think we have it. If you don't have the chemicals, no matter how much you have in common, it's just not going to work. I know. We get along well. We joke around. Do you think each other smell nice? I was surprised because your mouth was in my fucking face. You didn't have bad breath. Pheromones, though? I take care of it. Yeah. Thank but you. you guys could fuck then. That's all it takes. Breath? Just if you don't, if he gets up on you and you don't smell bad, <laughs> you don't smell something that bothers you, sure. you're in. I didn't actually feel how tight he was. Summer loving. Hand me a black. I'll do it with you. I'll be her. Hand me so fast. Wait, I just wait, wanted to tell me more. the girl? I'll be the girl, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> well, for all the dance moves, I got to throw Justin around, you understand? <laughs> Justin's not going to be able to swing dance. Wait, Justin, as much as, as, much as we all want to. Wait, Justin, you got to pick and you chose the girl? Yep. <laughs> I didn't say I can do it. I just said Ralph Tresvant looks fantastic. Falcone, <laughs> I've already referenced your uh, the documentary you told me to watch. I've been good to you. Today. Wait, Jay, do you think she you didn't can get do a the lot dance? of sleep? Huh? Do you think you can do the dance? The new edition dance? Yeah. <laughs> you did oh, yeah, say yeah. you could do yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm not saying I can't do it. I, I just didn't Wait, say you today think that you I can dance like a, in a boy band. You can no, 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 do those no, 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 no. Because I've heard you say you could play fucking quarterback in the NFL. If I believe myself. I heard you could beat up Collins. Did you say you could play quarterback in the NFL? If I I, I believe, though. I'd have to believe. (laughs) I need need a couple weeks practice. We had a conversation where he thought he could No cardio stuff, though. I hate cardio. a series in the NFL. (laughs) Legit. Legit conversation. Oh, one series? Oh, one series? I got the cardio for one series. I'll do it. I'll take his fucking... I'll take his five-yard line to the end zone, dude. 95 yards on me, that ball. You're putting together a long drive. I'm putting together a long drive. I'm going West Coast offense. I'm I'm drive. <laughs> it's it's yeah. It's all little dip outs. Yep. A lot of check downs. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of check downs. Nickel and dime them down uh, the field. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt you across the middle for sure. Cause I'm putting that thing precise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, bothers me. Go back to the new edition uh, thing at the Apollo. Th- this he particular dance. Now nah, you're wrong about that. I now I'm all over this. You look. Could, mm-hmm. could we do this next? You can't do these moves. Oh yeah. That I mean, move. This part. Come on. Yes. I'm telling you, a lot of these moves have to How do with long? a flowing white the suit. whole song? Whole song. There's a lot of cardio here. Now. You can't do this. Yeah, all this <laughs> is very possible. <laughs> you can't. <Dude. laughs> this was what you planned to do for a live show. Yeah. And then for you like bailed. For years. <laughs> I bailed because I didn't time to practice. I got to learn the moves. <laughs> That's why we didn't actually read uh, Falcone said at the bonfire SXM Here we go with the I can do the new edition dance bullshit Put up or shut up Big J I'm t- Put up I have to learn it Why are you standing like you're about to do it <laughs> <laughs> I, He stood up with such confidence We don't have, we don't, we don't have, we don't have a like, microphone I like, can take oh, with shit. me <laughs> We don't have a mic I can take with me He stood up ready to go and he was like Which foot do I move first <laughs> <laughs> Oh I blew it I already messed it up <laughs> I, I forget what they do. <laughs> Man, you're really nailing it. The yeah. hand, the hand, the hand wipe move you got. The hand wipe move you got. You, you know what I do this motion. shit? 
That outward foot. It, no, that you're never doing that. It's what the <laughs> fuck? When they, when they, when they hit the slide? <laughs> Come on, dude! I'm all over that slide. <laughs> you're rolling an ankle. Are you kidding? Indeed. I'll do it with the Apollo. I'll do it with the Apollo. <laughs> I'm gonna do it as one of those guys who has the. Uh, I have the rack on me that goes across, <laughs> and it's like uh, it's four other dudes yeah. in New Edition, and when I move, we all do the same thing. Yeah. You ever see the one man dance crew? Yeah, it's Jew Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Jew Edition. <laughs> I'm doing better than her. No, you're not. <laughs> Dude, I'm, you're on, on par with that lady. In Wait, the go audience. back up, back up, back up. Ten seconds, Christine. You guys both. I'll show you the one thing one I'm worried about. Motion. Go back ten seconds. I'm worried about that. That's you got no shot. The kick, at that. kick. No, just, but just look particularly. They do it. Yeah, it's, it's smooth. It's pop, smooth. Pop. That's pretty smooth. Running that's man, running man crossover. I Forward. Like it's a running man crossover. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult. Do you dance, Shane? Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Christine, you said he's there. You said you've seen him dance so much. I'm a big dancer. I'm more of a grinder, though. I'm more of a yeah, male yeah, grinder. Like, like <laughs> I stand years. still. <laughs> that slide, dude. Do you bite your lower lip? Oh, mm. yeah. Yeah. Do this? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I slap. Yeah, I slap faces. <laughs> <laughs> I fight <laughs> women. <laughs> you think I can do this right here? <laughs> no, I work the audience a little bit. Crowd work? Yeah, you can't do crowd work. <laughs> <laughs> crowd work can't save you on this one. <laughs> sure it can. <laughs> While you're dancing, you're like, what's up? You ever butt fuck that guy? <laughs> <laughs> that's a little you guys break. You ever try anal? Is this your dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, you're Indian? <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. What do you work? <laughs> ShaneMGillis.com. Yes. Check him out at Woo Ha Ha's this weekend. Worcester Mass. Worcester Mass. Uh, check him out at Raleigh's December 19th to the 21st and Raleigh at uh, Good Nights. Uh, great comedy club. Shane M. Gillis for all the dates. Justin Silver. No disrespect podcast on Gas Digital Network. Follow him on social media at I am Justin Silver. DanSoder.com. BigJ.com. Skankfest badges available at Skankfest.net. Huh? Uh, we'll be right back. It's the bonfire. You know the holiday shopping season is here, and this year you can start next year's good habit. Quip. It's something that's sure to put a smile on everyone's mouth because it's dental care they'll actually want to use every day. That's why Quip is the perfect, thoughtful, and practical gift with an electric toothbrush, refillable floss, and toothpaste, all intentionally designed to make good habits simple. The quick electric toothbrush has a sensitive sonic vibrations and a timer with a 30-second pulse to guide your routine. And the Quip Floss Dispenser has pre-marked strings, so you always use the right amount. I try, I tried to skip over it, Jacob, but I couldn't. Plus, Quip delivers brush heads, floss, and toothpaste refills every three months on a dentist-recommended schedule. Join over 3 million happy customers and check everyone off your gift list right now with Quip at getquip.com slash bonfire. You just go to getquip.com slash bonfire. You save on gift sets. Or you can get your first refill free with a refill plan. That's your first refill free at G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash bonfire. That's getquip dot com slash bonfire. If you're not getting a box of delicious organic free range meat from ButcherBox every month, you're missing out. ButcherBox delivers 100% grass fed and grass finished beef. Organic free range chicken, heritage breed pork, and wild-caught Alaskan salmon directly to your door with free shipping. Butcher Box is the most convenient way to get that meat the way it's meant to be. Natural, fresh, and delicious. Choose from curated boxes or customize your own box with all of your favorite cuts. And if you want to try something new, Butcher Box has a ton of awesome recipes and resources in our website that'll help you bring out all the flavor of each cut of meat you get from Butcher Box. And to make things better, Butcher Box is offering new members $20 off your first box plus two pounds of ground beef and two packs of bacon when you sign up at butcherbox.com slash bonfire. That's butcherbox.com slash bonfire for twenty dollars off your first box plus two pounds of ground beef and two packs of bacon free in your first box. Butcherbox.com slash bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. That quick. It's the bonfire coming to the radio series XM ninety five. Big J Okerson, Dan Soder off doing billions today. Sitting in with me, the Beastmaster, Justin Silver, the young bull, Shane Gillis. Shane, is it your birthday today? Yeah. How's that? <laughs> How did I not know that? Yeah, it's my birthday. 
Happy, happy birthday, you fu- Yeah, assholes. I mean, like, how the fuck do I not know it's your birthday? <laughs> oh, I deleted Facebook, so no one knows. Uh, is that what it is? Yeah, and it's you all it takes. It. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a chick. <laughs> you don't it's be a chick. actually my birthday. Can you I know? take it for a beautiful thing? <laughs> what? Something beautiful? I'll take it for something beautiful. Oh, speaking of, well, happy birthday, dude. Thanks, One. Man. How old are you, Shane? We're gonna I'm 32. Wow. Awesome. We're going to... Uh, something from Van Cleef and our This bell. is the place. Oh, what she asked for. She asked for jewelry. Van That's what Cleef. she wants, that chick? The hot chick came up was like, ah, Van Cleef and our pals has these new... It was like, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? This is what she asked a fucking mall Santa for. You think you're not going to sit on my lap and get jewelry? <laughs> Good chill, luck. Chill, 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 chill. Good luck. <laughs> Um, yeah, something from Van Cleef and Arpels. <laughs> Who gives real shit to a fucking what adult? Yeah, oh, she did yeah, not get she, it. She was the only one that didn't understand that bit, and she was the first. She was eager to ask the question. <laughs> oh, she yeah. was the, She jumped at the opportunity. Yeah, let me to get ask, up there. She jumped at the opportunity to ask Santa for Van Cleef and Arpels. Oh and she almost gave a gash flash to the audience, Ooh. and then she left. Yeah, <laughs> and then she walked out of our life. Should out of my life forever. Oh probably my right. God. Um. No, man, I miss her. So I've been thinking about her. You've been thinking about her a lot lately? Ah, oh, that cool <laughs> dress. She was wearing a cool skirt. What are you doing for your birthday, dude? Uh, Nothing. Nothing? No. It's just it. This is it. What? Jacob would have got you a cake. He would have made you a fucking cake, He would have jumped out of a cake. No, he would have made a thing about it last I don't, night. I don't like That's celebrating a show. that type. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. I get it. I don't either. Yeah. I understand that. But at least, you know, let us be able to say happy birthday. We feel like shitty friends now. I no, that's all right. I night. keep forgetting it. I forgot it until you said it just now. Really? Yeah. I, I, you know, yeah, I'm not thinking about it. Would you grow up Jehovah's Witness or something? <laughs> no, I just, uh, yeah. He goes, I used to get beat once a year on my birthday. I used to get sick every year on my birthday, which is Why? Funny. Anxiety? I don't know. It just would have been the flu for some reason every year. Really? Right around, yeah, early December. Like, Change your birthday soup? I don't think mm-hmm. you know how to take in love. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Shane, I'll <laughs> maybe. tell you somebody. Yeah, maybe. Shane, it's not your fault. Hey, hey, champ! What's up? It's not your fault. What's not? All this, man. It's not your fault. Hey, hey! <laughs> you were a baby, man. Just <laughs> <laughs> they were supposed to take care of you. Yeah, you wanted. You had a song in your heart you wanted to sing, and a dance you wanted to get on that stage. And Lou Perlman found you. <laughs> That's an opportunity not a lot of people get. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Um. I'm going to dig deep into Lou Pearlman, dude. I bet that guy. I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm going to watch it tonight. fucking Backstreet Boys. He fucking has his hand up there, Duker. Um, (laughs) Bring me some locks in that warm schmata. I want to watch. We have a few minutes, but I just want... I think it's funny for you to be here for, because I saw it in the... Something we've had on our list for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've never got to it, and it came across... It was on a YouTube side note there. was... I don't... Remember this happening a lot. I thought I remember a lot of Arsenio moments. It was pretty contemporary when I was a kid that would care about that. Yeah, I remember all the big performances. I remember Dice going. I remember all that. Two shit. Live Crew, that was awesome. Two Live, I remember uh, NWA. All yeah, of Dice them. got owned by. Was that Kinison? That came on and smashed Dice on Arsenio. Yeah. Oh, maybe Arsenio well, well, made fun of him for crying. Well, Dice went on crying. Yeah, he yeah, went on crying. Yeah, I think Why? it was Kinison. Somebody... Dice cried because the girl his first time he broke character. Said she didn't want to be there on stage because. Dice offended. Uh, was, she was offended by we, Dice. We watched that. What, for Ar- Arsenio? Arsenio, uh, the woman in Dice in Arsenio's band. Got you. I got you. But really, I remember but, that. but when he went on, Arsenio he cried. Dice cried because it was just like the reality of like it's yeah. It's, it's kind of like similar to what's going on. Even though it was more ridiculous then because he's such a character, what he's doing, and he got all this flack for it. He, and, and yeah, they, they took, protested. They, t- it. they took the movie out of the theaters like in, in like a week. Yeah. It was like uh, it was, his movie was in theaters for a week. Hilarious movie, by the way. Uh, Adventures of Fort Fairlane. I still yeah. love it. But it was out of the theaters. And I think he just kind of had that. He was going through a thing of like, oh, like, you know, a much grander sky. I told you when me and Christine had a fight, a fight on the air one time on our radio show. And someone's like, I don't know if I'm going to go CJ this weekend in Florida because oh, wow. him and Christine are. I don't like the way he was like arguing. You're like, come on, man. Like, you're enjoying the show as like a Pete. You know what I mean? So I think it got real to him that like some people were actually going, like, you're a monster piece of shit. Causing problems in the world, and he's just like, I'm just being like a goofy. Fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bummer when that happens. Yeah, I'll tell I, you what. And, and he just showed his he just showed his hand and like cried on the thing and like. Duh, it I'm the just it, it, but his thing was so character that it was like uh, it, it kind of like put him didn't like stifle his career like financially I'm sure and he was always his name was just as big but like 
he had to like re not reinvent but like kind of go through a phase and come back strong again you yeah. know what i mean it's like yeah, very, yeah, 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 yeah it was weird because everyone had to forget that he did the sitcom for a while it was very not him he was like a mailman or something like that <laughs> it was odd it was really it was a weird transition for him because the heat comes down that much your mail's over here now uh, D- dice has done a better job at staying cool with uh, in that regard than marilyn manson has <laughs> Marilyn Manson was like that evil and dangerous and like yeah, it's tough to stay in a bit it's not that Dice is dangerous uh, anymore but like he can still do comedy at a high level it doesn't require something that he can't do Ma- yeah. Marilyn Manson is just such a laughable like yeah, he was such they, like an art piece at one point of his life and now he's just like a goofball wearing a fucking vest yeah there's stuff like that when they're like characters you get older like the, when it ages out they become jokes yeah you know what I mean it's a, yeah. it's a weird thing to see like like all those fucking boy bands like every one of them now you look at them you're like fucking losers but you, every girl like, that you, every girl that you shit. liked was fucking in love with them yeah you know what I mean yeah absolutely Christine our age gap shows a lot of those things that like she can't remember when like so and so wasn't a joke when it was just the coolest thing you know what yeah, I mean yeah, like, yeah. So, like that's, that's our eight year age gap hits that a lot well that's like the Dane Cook thing he became a joke Right. And for a while, and it's like... I got into comedy and was fuck? told he was a joke by, like, you know, bitter comics. <laughs> and then, yeah, like, yeah, I Because yeah. I came into it going, like, oh, that guy made me... He was, like, the best one on... For sure. Some last... Co- I mean, no, he, no, his, half like, hour, he, his half hour his on half Comedy hour. Central was so good. But there was that, and then he did a Comics Come Home, I think it was, where, like, everyone was eating shit on it. Yeah, but you were at the cellar at the time where he was doing, like, Torgasm. That's when he was at the height of it, right? I was... O- I, I opened for him... No, I was opening for him at Caroline's when he would come through, still doing clubs. Mm-hmm. But... Sold out seven shows, you know, through the week. <laughs> yeah, but then he moved on to the theaters after that, and the, actually, I think he went right to arenas almost. Yeah, it's no, nuts. he came back and did the theater at the Garden, five thousand seats or something like that. Yeah, and then he, uh, by the, after that, he just went right to arenas. But I mean, like it was pretty quick in that regard. Yeah, it's funny to, but I didn't him. know. You know, people, you know, now comics could come in and be like, you know, Aziz and sorry, but Aziz was somebody who just like uh, as he was coming up though, like. He was like started after me, I believe, and as someone who just kind of goes, and you're like, who's this kid? Is open mic kids doing what now? He's fam- you know, he's famous. Like, yeah, it hits weird. Like, my age would have more bitterness towards that. Where a new person coming in goes, no, Aziz has been killing it for years. Guy's great, <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. so I get it. I get the thing. But um, Ars- <laughs> Arsenio just put out a goddamn Arsenio's one though, like that for me. Like I don't remember him ever being cool. He put out a special I was, recently. I, was... I saw stand up special on Netflix. Mm-hmm. How was it? I didn't watch it. <laughs> it wasn't good. <laughs> Damn, dude! It's like, it's like a, it's like a comedy special of monologue. It's like shitty. It's bad. Mm. It's everything you're expecting. Mm. Like every topic he touches on, it's just the lowest common denominator. Yeah, fucking thing. But you know, he's working on coming to America too. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, he's got that. Guy. I don't think he's done like stand up a ton. You know, the legend returns. <laughs> he was in the stand up legend. By the way. Coolest talk show of all time. Yeah, coolest talk show. Of See, all time. I was I was too young for the talk show. I love. I don't remember it. So like, Arsenio. Oh. I don't know. DJ Lou, back that up. Arsenio, that was the coolest, dude. Uh, yeah. That's when you found out you needed to get a yellow vest to go with your blue suit for your Color Me Bad cover band. <laughs> go to. Uh, is this the stand up special? We have such little time. I want you to go to the clip I actually said. What, for whatever reason, the time I don't remember is that Arsenio Hall got yet. Maybe this is plants, but there's two gay guys in there that basically say he's not cool with gays. And uh, when he was getting ready to bring out Crocodile Dundee, <laughs> and then he goes in the audience and has such like a. Wait, Bill he was bringing out Crocodile Dundee. He was getting ready to, yeah. Fuck, he had to be in the back like, shit. Yeah, this is a bad time for him to come out shit. there. Shit. What are you, fucking ninnies over there doing with oh, you think? They're asking for ninnies. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You poofed <laughs> Um He goes into the audience and does like a great talk show. Move. Bill Maher did it once too. Like, do I got to handle this shit myself? And then like a goofball in a suit goes over and starts yelling at you like you're in the streets. It's like Johnny Carson coming in and cursing you <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah. And that's what happens when these gay guys start yelling out. So if you play this, we could jump a. I think it starts right at that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. The blonde girl is so funny while they were singing. She said, she said, oh, my God. It was so funny. So funny. <laughs> Jacob, you love everything. I'm sorry. I, I can't hear you, man. Why don't you have Why any gay I guests? Why don't I have any gay guests on my show? Wait, I'm sorry. Why don't I have any gay guests on my show? 
Because they're well, all sucking each other off outside. <laughs> it's Hollywood. <laughs> who really don't like to talk about their sexual preference, so we don't know whether they're gay or not. You know? <laughs> By the way, that, that fucking yeah. logic, it really did not go like, it's true. <laughs> was, I wish I would have thought of that so before funny, I yelled yeah. it. Or, or one gay guy is definitely the more militant, and the other one goes, the other one was painted belly, and he goes, I just thought we were going to see I the show. I painted my belly, dude. And <laughs> you, told me, you told me this was a sound argument, and he just, he just he poked a lot of holes in it. Poked a lot of holes in it. It's funny the audience reacts like that, though. Like, nowadays, if, if <laughs> like the crowd was so quick to be against them. Dude, if this was right now, yeah. I swear to God, they would sail those two. They'd be internet yeah. superstars. They'd have a talk show. Yeah. Now, this ain't Murph. You didn't think I'd run from this, did you? This ain't Johnny. I ain't gonna run from it. I'm gonna deal with it. I know. White boy, it's what he's telling you. Yeah. <laughs> I know corny ass white boy. Don't take this zoot suit the wrong way. Here's <laughs> an audience of all whites. <laughs> oh, wow. Who would you like me to have on my show that's gay that maybe I haven't had? M- me. Who? Me, I guess. I don't know Gus Van Sant, but I know Elton John. He's been here and he's rocked the house. Okay. What if he goes this house and points to his asshole? <laughs> he bought the house. <laughs> this house. <laughs> Our city hall guy goes, do it, faggot. Do it. <laughs> Wish you would. Yeah. Oh, man, make a move. You job, motherfucker. You, I wish you would I'll right put now. Put my fist through your sissy chest. <laughs> you think I'm going to let a couple sissies bring down Arsenio? Oh, you about to see Arsenio comes out. <laughs> when Harvey has something I'm interested in, I'll bring him on the show. But this is my show. Harvey okay? Firestein? Why isn't he on Arsenio? <laughs> Harvey Firestein. By the way, Arsenio couldn't dress more gay. <laughs> These guys are dressed like fucking white supremacy. Yeah, yeah, really the gay are. guys are dressed all shitty. And with Arsenio <laughs> Hall's fucking... He's a new addition. This is my show. But what, what year was this? Uh, the first year of AIDS. Yeah, they must have been, <laughs> so, yeah. That's when you can really go with the gays hard. <laughs> you can go hard in the pain of the gays after that one year. Like, even the gay people couldn't think of one gay celebrity. Because you, you weren't allowed to be gay Harvey yet. Fires <laughs> you weren't allowed to be gay. It was like, who should I have on that's gay? They're like... Uh, Paul Lind, <laughs> Rock Hudson. You gotta find gays from <laughs> years name past. A gay dude. Yeah, Harvey Fire, Oscar Steve. Wilde, <laughs> <laughs> Nostradamus, Caligula. Yes, all of the Greek, all of the Norse Someone gods. Greek. Just get a Greek in there. <laughs> Macho man. You think you think I haven't had somebody on the show because they're gay? What's wrong with you, man? I'm black. By the way, the one sat back <laughs> down. This is great. That's such a good argument. Yeah. Oh, you think I'm homophobic? I'm black. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what we're saying. <laughs> I've been homophobic. <laughs> I'm black, man. I'm the biggest minority you know about. Oof. I don't want to hear that gay trash, man. <laughs> I've got gay friends I've had on the show because you don't know them or it ain't who you want on the show. You got a problem with it. If you want to book it, get yourself a Suck show. my black dick. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you going to like it too, boy. Damn. Damn. <laughs> So I can do the show. You've had your say and I've had mine. I'm going to make a shish kebab out of you three homos on my dick. <laughs> and he comes back and he goes, all right, we're going to be back, everybody. <laughs> Belle Biff DeVoe, whoop, whoop, Damn, whoop. Damn, he tossed on those glasses. He looks like Blade right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just eviscerated three gay vampires. <laughs> <laughs> he just turned to ash. Wow. There's just piles of ash laying in the studio. Damn, that crowd was so excited to see those gay <laughs> They couldn't wait crossed. to thump these gays. <laughs> They couldn't wait. Oh, what a time. What a different time. <laughs> Man, the, a millionaire host was allowed to just be like, enough of that gay trash. And the crowd was like, yeah. All right. Them. That's a new segment called Fag Bash. We'll be right back with Bill Murray. Hoo, 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 hoo. Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them sissies. I'll be right back with Tracy Chapman. Who, 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 who? 
this article though, a pro gay stance in 1991, pretty progressive. Mm. Most people on television, like it, it was almost surprising it went that way. Dude, he had to hang out. He was dating Paula Abdul. You know how many gays? It's like our friend Michelle and, and Kevin Farley. She makes a bunch of gay guys hang around. So <laughs> he's very gay friendly. He goes, he's gay tolerant, that's for sure. He has no choice when your girlfriend only hangs out with gay dudes. <laughs> Paul Abdul? Oh, he definitely had to be around a lot of gay guys. <laughs> it's funny to think of like other talk show hosts back then handling that. Oh, it's, like, it's so Carson great. and just get them out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's, I mean, get yeah. them the fuck out of here. Well, while you're at it, throw the blanks out, too. <laughs> Weird, yeah. wild Get stuff. <laughs> Weird, wild. Someone beat the shit out of them. <laughs> yeah. Handle them motherfuckers outside. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're into the blacks and the Jews. They're being a weird. <laughs> <laughs> now I got Clance Thomas coming on the stage after this. All right. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Shane Gillis. <laughs> Justin Silver. Thank you guys so much for hanging yeah, out. Yeah, thanks for having yeah. us, buddy. So fun. Danny back tomorrow, yeah? Yep. We have Danny and Mike Fenoya. Oh, yeah, we are live tomorrow on a Thursday. Live on a Thursday. Rare live Thursday show. Uh. Oh, yeah. You did it, Lou. Trying to make me dance, bro? Trying to make me dance. Let me see one move. You did? Move your feet. You did? See if you can lift your feet. <laughs> no. <laughs> no it, 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 I'm, wearing, I'm wearing some fucking really serious heavy. cowboy boots. <laughs> you could do Let that slide see. kick move. You could do that. Do the slide. Move that chair and do the slide. <laughs> We gotta go. I want to. What's you saying? You don't think I'm gay friendly? Break that soldier boy, dude. You don't think I'm fr- you don't think I'm gay friendly? I don't think you guys book enough gay people on this show. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> no, now that it hits me. Well, never mind. Not enough gays. Uh, uh, Stephanie Falcone says she'd offer to help me learn it. She has 30 years of dance experience. Let's go. No, no, Stephanie. I don't want you to teach me. I want I want to shove it in your face when I, have, when I nail it. <laughs> I love you dearly. But I want to shove it in your goddamn face. <laughs> You've never believed in me. <laughs> I'm going to go home and immerse myself in this Lou Pearlman documentary. And Stephanie Falcone, I'll tell you this. If you're listening, you better hope to God he touched these boys. If I get an hour and a half deep in this and this is all financial There's shit. There's no boy touching. No, shut your mouth. I'm telling you Don't right say now. That. You a slick believe, Jew like dude. that, you think he's getting busted? <laughs> Come on, please. There's a reason. Listen, whenever there's a documentary like this, I always ask, it's not so much who's doing it, who's not in this documentary. And it's all the with a bunch of none Big of the dogs. super successfuls are yeah. in there. Do you know what I mean? JT, not even sort of there at all. He's like, well, I liked it. Guy had a gentle touch, and I got a lot of money. There's like B-roll <laughs> of him wearing like a do rag and goggles though every once in a while, right? Who? J Justin Timberlake. Remember oh yeah, he, yeah. That yeah. was his style. Was just totally culturally appropriating. Well, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, he, he, got, he got away with that. Yeah, for sure. Man, it's because well, he's gay. Just we'll spread rumors. <laughs> gay nation. Yeah. Love that gay trash. We're talking about I ain't got no gay pad. Just a temper like all that. Like I got all the What the thing? Woof, woof, woof. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go no gay people. I'm black. The biggest minority. The biggest minority. That's a weird thing. That's a weird claim. It's a Nazi moron. Well, no. I get what he's... But he's saying what he... What he's trying to say, he's saying wrong. The biggest minority? He goes... Well, you're almost close to not being a minority at all. <laughs> We're the biggest minority. Not as trivialized as you gays. <laughs> ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow with Danny Soder. Mike Fenoy hanging out with us tomorrow for the whole crew. We'll catch you tomorrow on the bonfire.